What's going on, you guys? This is the T-smashing, jaw-cracking kid from the east side of Cleveland, Ohio, Ring of Honor superstar Shane Taylor, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Notorious Shane Taylor. Hello. What's going on, guys? How, How are, are you, you doing? Good. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are here in Toronto for Ring of Honor's War of the Worlds. Absolutely. How are you feeling about today and the match that's to come? <sighs> Man, I mean, being that this is my first international show here in Toronto, I know there's a lot of eyes on me. Um, one of the one of, if not the biggest match of my career against the New Japan pro wrestling legend in Hiroki Goto. Uh, I've got not only the eyes of the people of Toronto on me, not only the eyes of the people of ROH, but also of New Japan. Um, so I'm extremely excited, uh, extremely nervous, but also extremely confident about my match tonight. Even though you have all of those things going on in your mind tonight, mm -hmm. are you usually that nervous for a match? You still get nervous walking into the ring? Um, it's not so much nerves as it is anxious. You know, I, I, I grew up fighting. Uh, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, one of the most violent cities in, in the country uh, and, and in the U.S. Uh, so I, I've been fighting my whole life. So the actual matches don't scare me. That isn't what makes me nervous. It's about being anxious to go out there and apply my skill set. Uh, to impose your will onto someone else, uh, to be that dominant athlete, to be that alpha male, uh, that's what that's what drives me. Well, you use splashes, slams, and of course, unprovoked violence when oh, facing yes. the people that you go against. Of course. <laughs> Is of course. there a move right now that you're enjoying using the most to rain terror on everybody? Uh, the move that I always love, and that's my personal favorite, uh, is always just my knockout right hand. Um, it, it, it can happen at any time. It, it can be against someone smaller than me, against someone bigger than me. It really doesn't matter. At any point, point in time, when your jaw gets tested, that's the measure of a man. Can you stand up to me and take that shot? Uh, not too many people can. Uh, <laughs> and so for me, uh, that's always been my favorite thing to use and my favorite move to apply because I get to test the person that I'm in the ring with. All the talking is great. All the stuff that you say off camera, on camera, all the stuff you say to the fans, all that is well and good. But when you get hit in the face, <laughs> when I punch you in the jaw, that's the real test of a man. You've been using the hashtag violence at its finest that's a lot right. lately, and I Absolutely. really like your use of that. Mm -hmm. Of course, you're dishing out violence, but I'm sure you've taken your fair bit as well. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, being in, in a line of work that I'm in and living the life that I have, um, you, you grow accustomed to it. Uh, and what violence at its finest means is in the midst of everything, in, in, in the midst of carnage, even in the midst of battle, there is a, there is a peace that you have. There is a, there's a, there's a beauty to it. Uh, there's a beauty to the anger. There's a beauty to the violence. Um, it's almost art, depending on who you talk to. Uh, so for me, I feel like that's what I bring to Ring of Honor. Uh, that's what I bring to wrestling in general. I am violent. I'm a very violent person. I'm a very aggressive person. Um, but I do it in a way that e even though you kind of have to turn away, you still appreciate what you're seeing. What would be one of the worst bumps or injuries you've taken? Uh, you know what? I've, I've been very, very blessed not to really have any injuries. I mean, uh, I'm knock on wood here as I talk. But uh, Lucky that was so close. Yeah, lucky, lucky that was close. Um, <laughs> but... I mean, we all get bumps and bruises, and we all get banged up. It's a very physical game. But up until now, I haven't had anything that has sidelined me or taken me out. Like I said, uh, you get accustomed to the violence, so maybe I'm just better equipped to handle it than others. We've been talking about violence quite a bit, but mm -hmm. you've also been posting some adorable photos where you got pedicures with your daughter. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's uh, it's that's – my home is my refuge, um, and my daughter is my every is my everything. Uh, her being born has drastically changed the man that I am, uh, and the man that I was becoming, into the man that I want to be. Um, so everything I do, every step that I take, going down the ring, or every punch that I throw, every kick that I take, is all in building a better life for her. Um, so that's my focus, and that's my my goal, and the only way that that continues is by beating up everybody in sight. So, 
I mean, well, not you, obviously, and and I, not, I hope not. And and none of you watching. Hopefully, I haven't crossed that but, line yet. Yeah, but I'm but I'm watching you. <laughs> um, but you know, just it's I have to be in there with the best, fighting the best, and that provides the lifestyle that she needs to get everything that she wants. Has she watched Dad wrestle yet? She has, and you know what? The crazy thing is, I'm not even her favorite wrestler. It's <laughs> and and I kind of get mad ab- about that, but like she studies tape with me. And uh, I remember she watched the Briscoes come out. And as soon as they came out, you hear the da da da, the reach for the sky. She's, Daddy, Daddy. Ah! She gets and I'm like, and I'm sitting there like, how are you cheering the people that I'm about to fight? Like, how? <laughs> she's a Benedict Arnold, but like mini size. It's, it's ridiculous. But it's all right. She can have her opinion as, as bad as it is. <laughs> Let's just talk music. Okay. Whether getting ready for a match or when you're training, who are some go to artists that you like listening to? Ooh, that's tough. And, and I, 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 I hate to do the common thing and like just not talk about to, like today's music, uh, even though I feel there's a drastic uh, shift in quality as far as what they're doing and the message that they send out. Um, but if I'm getting ready for a match or I'm getting ready to, to, to train or anything like that, I always play DMX. Uh, yes. It's it's <laughs> there is nothing on this planet that, that gets, get, you, that that gets you more up. hyped no. than listening to that man's music. It's. You could take the most passive person in the world. You could take yourself, put that on for about twenty minutes or so. You I've, you'd be I've ready to fight it. everybody. You lose it. You'd be ready to fight everybody. <laughs> like it's it's amazing what his music does. Um, so hopefully maybe one day uh, may, maybe a big ROH pay per view. I'll have DMX like uh, sing me down the ring or something or rap me down the ring. That'd be crazy. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, uh, DMX is probably the go to. Well, I just want to do a quick fire round with you. Oh, of course. All right, so the first one. If you could see anybody live that you have yet to, who would you like to see in concert? In concert? Ooh. Um, wow. That's like, can they be living or dead? Yes, or like, sure. right, probably Michael Jackson. I mean, okay. if we're talking about huge stars, that, that's, that's one that I regret that I never got to see. Um, you can only imagine just the type of artistry that he has. Like, that, that, that'd probably be the, the number one. What's the wallpaper on your phone? The wallpaper on, on on my phone is of my girlfriend and my daughter. Very nice. Yeah. I kind of I kind of was yeah. expecting that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, who would you love to face that you've yet to? That I have yet to. Jay Lethal. Um, he's somebody that, um, especially being another African American male in a business like this, to see the things that he's accomplished and the level of star that he is. Um, you want to test yourself against the best. You want to test yourself and see what what you have. So um, somewhere down the line, me and Jay Lethal is a match that I would love to have. You've been wrestling for about a decade now? Close to it, yep. But what was the worst or most boring job you had prior to that? <sighs> worst and most boring job I had prior to I, I used to work at Sam's Club. Okay. Like so, like like that was okay. But then you had to like sell these little upgrade cars, and I was like, dude, no one wants to get harassed while they shop. Like it's, <laughs> it's it's the dumbest thing ever. Like. And then they like, and then they get mad at you if you don't sell like a quota. And I'm like, dude, if someone came up to you while you were shopping and they're like, hey, while you're buying this stuff, buy this, you'd be like, get out of my face. Like, what what you're asking us to do is dumb. Like, but <laughs> um, but you try your best, and you know, you try not you try not to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> Just to wrap things up, is there anything you want to leave with all of your fans who will be viewing? Just any parting words? <sighs> I, I want everybody in Toronto and everybody watching. Ring of Honor or New Japan Pro Wrestling, when you watch this match tonight, you will be in for a show because I promise you I am going to bring a side of me that you have never seen before, um, and I am going to show the entire world exactly who I am and what I can do. And I put it on Twitter earlier, but the whole world will know my name after tonight. I cannot wait for this match. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It is my pleasure. And remember, to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See you next time.